Oh, what's cracking, man? Bear claw. Looking good. Jeez. So I looked in the high top socks for you guys. They're making a move tomorrow by the south side docks and dealing to the diamond packs. Diamond packs? Heard those guys are always packing. <laughs> oh. Now the most crucial thing, and I can't stress this enough, is timing. You gotta be there at seven, because any time after that, they have the guns out and you don't want a skull full of lead. Diamond packs are serious. All right, so we'll get there early to avoid any uh, lead action. Correct, but remember, tomorrow daylight savings activates. Daylight savings doesn't activate, it just is. What? No, no, it does. Daylight saving activates, and then time is thrown one hour into the past. Wait, so, so time's like an on-off switch? No, you're thinking of night and day. Day's on, night's off. Except in my case, the day is off and the night is on. <laughs> okay, whatever. So we'll be there tomorrow at 7. Yeah, 7 now time. Is that different from 7 tomorrow time? Mo, how aren't you getting this? Daylight savings. Look, I can't tell you what tomorrow time will be because we're still in now time. Oh my god, I don't care. What time do you want us to be there tomorrow? Now time and tomorrow time. Well, seven of course. Now time. Look, I can't tell you what tomorrow time will be because I... it's a whole different reality, Mo. No, it's not. It's one hour behind. Seven o'clock now time is six o'clock tomorrow time after daylight saving activates. Six? Where the hell did you get six from? Just be there at seven, okay? All right. Very important. A tool and a toy. Thanks, guys. I, uh, I learned a bunch today. No problem, deputy. And you know what? I think you helped us earn our 50th gold star and get that gift card to Friday's. Oh, right. But you know what's more important than that? You earned yourself a gold star. Thanks, Cheese. Detective the Cheese. I think you're gonna make a great full-fledged deputy someday. I'm just so proud of you. That's all I've ever wanted to hear. You've done more than me and your mama could have ever imagined. All right, all right, you need to go to bed. We got real work tomorrow. Yeah, and if we do good tomorrow, maybe we can all go to Luigi's, huh? And then I can show you how to change a tire. Auto mechanics, ice cream, at Luigi's. Guys, tomorrow's a huge day. I gotta go. I gotta get some sleep. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep. It's gonna be like this for Christmas, but I gotta go. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye, Bear Claw. What is that? Let's get out of here, Mama. Don't, don't, don't even call me that. No, no, I'm, don't talk to me. No. Ah, seven o'clock on the dot. You guys ready? Bear Claw, how you feeling? You excited? All right, should be a good time. Uh, when we go in there, a uh, couple things to remember. Stay with us. Um, try to actually walk like this. That, that really kind of throws them off. I am the servant of man as he marches along towards death. I drag him across the river Styx to the dying grounds where I lull him into his final slumber. And, uh, jeez. Whoa, really? Another one? Do you really need that? Maybe you should have one, because I've never felt more alive. <laughs> <laughs> This will be the end for mankind. This will be the end for all. I am going to bring destruction on this earth. Like the angel of death I am. Hey, Bear Claw, do me a favor. Go get the cheese. I want to clean up uh, the Golden Eagle before we head out. You guys don't use your guns, do you? Oh, God, no. It's just for shock factor. They're not even loaded half the time. What's up, scumbags? What the hell? Back off! I can't move my arms and legs! It can't be the point of energy, otherwise I'd be puking!
Police point number three. Take that fucking gun and shoot it now! Ah! Here's to these two fine officers for stopping the biggest shipment of illegal firearms this city has ever seen. Thank you, Duke and Amos. And of course for saving the lives of uh, Detectives Mo and the Cheese. And now the reason we're all here today, to Bearclaw. I only met him just once, but I always felt like he was a grandson to me. Rest in peace, little guy. I know what you mean, Chief. He'll always hold a special place in my heart. That being said, what the hell were you thinking bringing a civilian to an arms deal? But Chief, he wasn't a civilian. We trained him as our junior deputy. Junior deputy? What in God's name are you talking about? Junior deputies? Like the poster on the bulletin board? Oh my God, are you serious? Did you even read that? That thing was for bring your kids to work day. Be a boat house hero.